Does that make sense? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully you're blessed. Hopefully you're amazing. Hopefully you're great. If you're new, my name is Michael Benjamin. I'm the CEO of Consumer Ammunition Tactics, or CAT. That's a logo. Basically, we provide consumer law education. We provide, uh, you know, motivation. We provide just information to help you get to the next level. So make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe if you get value from this video. I want to talk about the fact that you need to cut yourself off. Michael, what do you mean by I need to cut myself off? I want you to cut off the old you. When we talk about cutting off like our old habits, we talk about cutting off, you know, friends around us that's not good for us. We talk about cutting those people off, but we don't, a lot of times we don't talk about cutting ourselves off. So I want y'all to really just sit back and think, what are the old habits I have? What kind of toxic tendencies do I have, right? Like really just analyze yourself. What have I done to where I would have cut myself off? Just really think about it. Sit back and really think about it. Like what would I, what have I done to where I would cut myself off? We talk about all the toxic friends. We talk about the toxic relationships. We talk about the tox toxic people around us, but it's like, what have we done to where we should have been cut off? It's so many times that somebody does something and we would have cut them off. But if we did the same thing, we wouldn't cut ourselves off. So we got to have that conversation of what have we done to where we would cut ourselves off? I want you to cut off the old you. You need to cut off the old you. The old you is holding you back from the current you. You thinking that, okay, I'm cutting off all these negative people, but you ain't cut off the old you. You still attached to the old you because it's you. You got to apply the same energy to yourself. And when you do all this, you're going to become a better person overall. We talk about credit here at CAT, but part of credit, a lot of these credit people, they don't talk about the fact that you need to become a better person to be able to become that better person at credit. You gotta, you gotta do the self-work within and that will allow you to become that better person. And then once you become that better person, you're gonna be more likely to get those deletions. You're gonna be more likely to get to the next level. If you got a credit repair business, you're gonna be more likely to be dealing with people better. We don't, we don't have that conversation a lot of times. I have this conversation offline with uh, people that's, you know, mentees, people that are trying to get into my programs and things like that. But I don't have these conversations on camera. So we need to continue having these conversations of how can we cut off the old habits of ourselves? We're cutting off the negative people. Maybe people, you know, we went to school with, maybe people that we just, that that's just not serving us no more. But the way that they're acting it's cool if we do it. We're not cutting off ourselves. This is why I'm saying cut yourself off. Cut your old habits off. When you cut yourself off, you cut your old habits off, you're going to be in a better position to where you're going to basically be positioning yourself to where you're going to get to that next level because you're not going to be in a position of you being biased. You biased because you cut that friend off, but you're doing the same thing as that friend. So how does that even make sense? You gotta, we gotta, we gotta really keep this in mind. Like, why are we cutting these people off, but we're not cutting ourselves off, our old self? In order to grow, in order to flow, you need to cut yourself off. Your old self, your old self that has that toxic habits, your old self that was participating in those toxic activities, your old self that wasn't where they were supposed to be. Cut that person off. Your old self that's doing the same thing as your friend that you just cut off. We need to focus on that. We need to have that conversation. These are conversations we don't have. With credit, it's just like, okay, do this, that, and the third to get that collection removed. Do this, that, and the third to get that charge off removed. Do this, that, and the third to get that inquiry removed. We don't talk about the conversations of how you have to do the inner work in yourself. 
So we need to have that conversation. What does that conversation look like? Are you making a date with yourself? Are you sitting with yourself and analyzing yourself? These are conversations you need to be having with yourself. If you're not having these conversations with yourself, then you're just being biased. You're just being selfish. You cutting your friends off. They doing the same thing that you doing, but but it's all good when you do it. It don't work like that. You got to keep the same standards when it comes to yourself. You got to keep the same standards when it comes to yourself. If you keep the same standards when it comes to yourself, you would have been cut off. You cutting off Johnny, you cutting off Sally, you cutting off uh, uh, all these different people, you know what I'm saying? But you're not cutting yourself off. Because you got those negative habits. You got the same negative habits that of the people that you're cutting off. Does that make sense? Like, sit and think about it. Does that make sense to you? You cutting off Tyrone. Tyrone act like you. You got to think about it. I'm sitting here acting like the person I'm cutting off. Does that make sense? Like, sit and think about it. Does that really make sense? This is why I dropped these videos, because I want y'all to sit and think about the way that y'all is moving, right? And it's therapeutic for me as well. So really just understand, if you're going to get to that next level, if you're going to get to that next level with credit, if you're going to get to that next level in your business, if you're going to get to that next level as a servant of God, the same way you judge those people, you should judge yourself as well. Keep the same energy. Keep the same energy with yourself. Keep the same energy with those people. If you're going to cut off your homie for doing something, keep the same standard for yourself. Cut yourself off. You cut off your old habits. When you cut off your old habits, you're going to be in a better position. You cut off your old habits, you're going to be in a better position. I had to cut off somebody. And basically, I kept the same energy. This person is on my phone talking about they don't got time to, you know, do this to go to the gym. They don't got time to do this to, you know, make money. This, that, and the third. I had to analyze myself. I was like, am I making the same excuses? And I wasn't. I realized I wasn't making the same excuses because, you know, I make sure I go to the gym. I make sure that I'm doing what I need to do to achieve the goals I want to achieve. But I, I was I was transparent with myself. I said, if I'm doing the same thing that this person is doing that I just cut off, then I have to cut my old self off too. I have to make a new me, right? So I put myself in that position to where the, I, I was analyzing what he was talking about. I don't got time to go to the gym. I don't got time to, you know, do what I got to do to make money. I'm tired after I go to work. I used to work a nine to five when I was working my nine to five. I was also building up my business too. I was eventually able to retire my business. I launched my mentorship, cat credit, retire your nine to five mentorship. And, you know, I was able to continue doing what I was doing. But while I was working, while I was working at nine to five, I wasn't in that position of where I was complaining for no reason. I still went to the gym after work. I was going to the gym at 3 a.m. I used to put YouTube videos out. I was going to the gym at 3 a.m doing my day in life. So it's like, y'all got to realize what's going on. And then on top of that, analyze what's going on. Are you making excuses for no reason? Right? You might have to cut off the old you. In that position, I didn't have to cut off the old me because I realized I wasn't doing the same thing that uh, he was doing. But had I been doing the same thing that he was doing, I would have had to cut off the old me. I would have had to reassess myself and be like, okay, I'm basically doing the same thing that he's doing. So I need to reassess myself and better my situation. I just want y'all to better y'all situation. Hopefully this video helped y'all. Hopefully it, you know, puts into perspective things for you. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share with somebody so that they can stop making excuses so that they can cut off the old them. Catch you on the next one.